giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. It's all praises to the Heavenly Father. Through the name of the only begotten Son, through the Holy Spirit. Double honor to the apostles, bishops, and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Shalom to all you Akim and you Aqua, those of the hopeful elect that are seeking for salvation. Wisdom of Solomon 9 and 17. It says, In thy counsel, who hath known, except thou give wisdom and send thy Holy Spirit from above? So the counsel of the Lord is only revealed when he gives the Holy Spirit. No, the Spirit is the Holy Spirit is the understanding. Let me bring the scripture here to prove what I just said. Job 32 and 5. Is it 32 and 5 or 32 and 8? There we go. Job 32 and 8 says, But there is a spirit in man, and the inspiration of the Almighty giveth them understanding. So the Holy Spirit is where we get our understanding from. Right. As it pertains, particularly for this lesson of the council. Right. The council and the will, the purpose is revealed via the Holy Spirit to those who the Lord wants to to understand. Right. And when you read. Psalm 25 and 14. Right. It says. The secret of the Lord, Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, is with them that fear him. That secret goes back to the council. Whenever you have a, a governing body, your governing body is going to have a council. It's going to have assembly, all right, uh, plans. And only a certain select few are invited you know, to these council meetings. And it's very un important to understand. And in these times, you know, the Lord is setting up or revealing his counsel, right? Because these are his plans. You know, unlike the world and their gathering at, at these assemblies, you know, they come together and provide their input. Well, there's no input being provided. This is the Lord's plan and will that will be done. And it's only revealed to the hopeful elect. Psalm 25 and 14 says, The secret of the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh with them that fear him. You know, those who reference, fear, honor, respect, and obey Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh are are being, um, you know, who are being revealed at, you know, uh, the answers at this council, okay, of what the will of the Heavenly Father is. And it says, and he will show them his covenant, meaning his agreement, right? Which, too, is only for a select few to get that understanding. And I was inspired to do this lesson because I have family members who have a zeal, but not. No, they don't have the hundred percent truth, right? They're not invited to the council. No, the Lord is not revealing His secrets to everyone. When you read Saint Matthew thirteen and nine, it says, "Who have ears to hear, let him hear." All right now, when you go into the word "hear," it says. To consider what is or has been said to understand, right? Perceive the sense of what is said. So to comprehend. So who is able to comprehend? Let him comprehend. Right. Who, whoever is meant to understand and receive, let him receive it. Now, this is what Yahweh was saying to the multitude. Verse 10 says, and the disciples came and said unto him, <laughs> why speakest thou unto them in parables? So the disciples, you know, asked them, they were very aware and had discernment to realize that Yahweh was speaking 
above the heads of the multitude because it wasn't meant for them, you know, to to uh, understand the will, the purpose. You know, they wasn't given the Holy Spirit to to, you know, to get those secrets. So the, but the disciples understood that Yahweh was speaking to them in riddles and sayings. Right. Verse 11 says he answered them. Sorry, he answered and said unto them, because it is given unto you to know, right, the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them is not given. Right. So the Lord is not dealing with all of Israel. Henceforth, why the Holy Spirit wasn't given unto all of Israel to give them that understanding of the council. All right. To know means to learn to know. All right. Get a knowledge of perceive. OK. So the Lord then give them that perception to understand that that uh, Holy Spirit to understand. All right. The mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. All right. Verse 11. I'm reading it in the NLT. I started verse nine. It says anyone who with ears to hear should listen and understand. His disciples came and asked him, why do you use parables when you talk to the people? Those riddles and sayings. Why, why are you uh, not directly speaking to the people more so in riddles and sayings? Verse 11, he says, says he replied, you are permitted to understand the secrets of the heaven the secrets of the kingdom of heaven, but others are not going back to that word secrets. I'd be curious to know what it says in the NLT. I guess secrets is not in here. Right. Let's go into the word mysteries, though. A hidden thing, Right. Secret will <laughs> going back to the council, a hidden purpose or a council secret will. So the Lord doesn't want all of Israel to know his will. Only a certain few are invited to understand the council. Right. And that is uh, a very uh, humbling and very, uh, you know, we got to be very thankful, I should say. Right. Now, reading on, it says. Verse 12, for whosoever have to him shall be given and he shall have more abundance. But whosoever have not from him shall be taken away, even that he hath. Verse 13, therefore, speak. I let me read in the NLT. It says to those who listen to my teachings more understanding will be given, right? You're going to grow and abound therein, right? You're going to be given more of a larger portion, you know, if it's meant for us to understand. And and we've seen that from my experiences, those of us in the truth. Every, you know, uh, every, every, as long as we continue to remain in the truth and fervent, right? Fearing the Lord, there's a growth that comes with this. More understanding is given. And that, that's, Spot on. I'm speaking from experience and I know you Akim as well it says and they have an abundance of knowledge. But for those who are not listening, right, that the Lord didn't give the understanding to even what little understanding they have will be given, will be taken away from them. And we read the the fear, the secrets of the Lord is with their, them that fear him. You know, if the Lord doesn't want you to get it or you don't get it, you know, you don't fear them. And it wasn't just, it wasn't meant for all of Israel to get this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Verse 13 in the KJV says, Therefore speak I to them in parables, because seeing they see and see not, and hearing they hear not, neither do they understand. KJ, uh, NLT, this is why I use these parables. For they look, but they don't really see. They hear, but they don't really listen or understand. You remember, there was a large portion of 
so-called followers that was following you, I was shy to be fed with food, not with the truth and the word. Another example as to, you know, them not actually seeing or understanding what this is all about. Okay. Um, so the point of me saying all that is we should not really be offended, nor should we try to force family members, friends, you know, to come into this truth. The Lord is the one that's going to wake up those that he wants to uh, he wants to reveal his secrets to. And he has to be the one that gives them the Holy Spirit to understand the mysteries, the will of the Heavenly Father. Isaiah 69 says, and he said, go and tell this people, hear ye indeed, but understand not. And see ye indeed, but perceive not. So you can, you know, tell, gather all your family members in one room and break down how we are the Israelites and Deuteronomy 28 chapter is speaking about us and the kingdom is for us and, you know, the so-called white man is Esau and the will of the Heavenly Father is to destroy America, Babylon the Great, take down the Edomites and establish the everlasting kingdom, redeem and save the elect. But if they don't get it, they don't have the, the, the Holy Spirit from on high, they're not going to get it. Verse 10 says, Make the heart of this people fat and make their ears heavy and shut their eyes. So the Lord is, you know, setting up angels to block out those that he doesn't want to get it. And there's nothing we can do about it. We just better be thankful to the Lord that we, the Lord, opened our eyes. It says, at least they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and convert and be healed. Right? Now that we understand these things, we don't take things personal. We already know what, what the will of the Heavenly Father is. Right? Second Peter, or is it first Peter? First Peter, and I haven't brought this out in a while. I need to get back on point with bringing these scriptures out. Um, Let me see. Fervent heat. Second Peter three and uh, 10, it says, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night and the wisdom of heaven shall pass away with a great noise. Those who are uh, <clears throat> those who are part of that that uh, council <clears throat> who the Lord has revealed the will, his will to knows that Yahweh is coming as a thief of the night. So, you know, the elect will not get caught off guard. Okay, but the others will. Two-thirds will. It says, In the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, meaning this rulership is going to pass away with a great noise. That great noise is going to be the nuclear destruction. It says, And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Everything in America is going to melt with fervent heat. It says, The, work, the earth also, and it works that the works that are therein shall be burned up. Verse 11, seeing, right? Seeing. Seeing these things, right? Those who have the Holy Spirit, all right? Who the Lord has revealed the, the mysteries of the kingdom to. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? All right. So we're supposed to be conducting ourselves in a manner of righteousness, going back to the ancient way and keeping the laws, you know, to the best of our ability, calling on the true the, the true names in which we have been blessed to receive again. Continuing to fear the Lord, and stay humble while we wait on the Lord because we understand the counsel. Verse 12 says, looking for an understanding. It's like you're looking for and hasting until the coming of the day of Yahweh by Shemi Abishai, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. So looking for and hasting, 
All right, getting our houses in order speedily, not procrastinating, not tarrying with this word, knowing that this place is about to be destroyed via nuclear destruction. Verse 13, nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. And that's what we know is about to happen and we're looking forward to it. That's what keeps us, uh, you know, uh, hopeful, you know, is, is a kingdom to come um, very soon, man. That's what we're looking forward to. The Lord establishing the kingdom of heaven on the planet Earth and destroying our enemies and laying this land desolate. All right. Where there's going to be pure righteousness on the planet Earth. Verse 14 says, wherefore, beloved, seeing that go that word seeing again. And hopefully they'll have it in. Um, all right. There we go. Seeing. To expect whether in thought, in hope or in fear to look for wait. All right, waiting for the, 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 the mysteries of the kingdom to be revealed, executed, and performed. So wherefore, beloved, meaning the, the house of David, the elect, who sees, seeing that ye look for such things, all right, a kingdom where dwelleth righteousness, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace, without spot, and blameless. Yep, so we see and know what's going on. It's it's uh, required of us, you know, to conduct ourselves in a manner of righteousness, considering the fact that the Lord is, you know, uh, revealed his counsel to us. Now, again, wisdom of Solomon seven or nine and 17 says in thy counsel who have known, except thou give wisdom and send the Holy Spirit from above. The Good News Translation says, No one has ever learned your will unless you first gave him wisdom and sent your Holy Spirit down to him. All praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai.